presidential race. Hey y'all, it's Demented Caliber here, so before I get into the actual topic of this video, I want to go ahead and give a few shoutouts. The first shoutout goes to my brother, Real Outlaw 89. The second shoutout goes to my other brother, NH Dipper. And the third shoutout goes to my vaping brother, Ohio Vapor. Go check their channels out, guys. They got some pretty awesome videos. Anyways, it's 12.03, and I think uh, voting has just closed. Um, I don't know. I have the sound muted at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a listen in, shall we? Okay, they ain't saying shit. Alright, so, let's get into the topic. I tell you, it's so fucking hilarious seeing uh, presidential candidate supporters go head and head. Um, I'm neutral to the whole thing. I didn't vote. I'm not registered to vote. I probably won't ever vote because, well, voting doesn't really benefit me for the most part. Um, the only way it'd benefit me is Donald Trump actually woke up and realized, uh, why don't we go ahead and, uh, stop the FDA on what they're doing? They're stripping us, the FDA are stripping us of our rights. This should be my right right here. If I want to vape, let me vape. Why not? People can smoke, people can dip, people can chew tobacco. Um, dipping and chewing tobacco, believe it or not, are completely two different things, but... Um, I'll have NH, or I'll inquire NH Difference to make a video about dipping versus chewing. So, yeah, because I don't dip anymore. But, I mean, honestly, Trump wants to make America great, but yet he's doing all this stupid shit, making up stupid claims that he can't fulfill, and he knows he can't fulfill it. Why? Because everything has to go through Congress. And I see a lot of Trump port supporters saying, Oh, well, Trump's going to do this, Trump's going to do that. No, Trump is going to attempt to do it. It has to be approved by Congress. Same with Hillary Clinton. Uh, she says she's going to try and do a lot of things like on the lines of the Second Amendment, making like a, um, uh, what is it called? A proposition that uh, is consistent with the Second Amendment right rights to bear arm and uh i covered on that so i'm not even gonna talk about that but um i do want to touch up on some things because i see a lot of fucking childish bullshit in the political community and that is people taking personal shots at each other like you'll have one guy who will sit here and talk about a guy's sister because uh he thinks they're inbreds because that guy that said guy is voting for trump or actually let me clear it up a little bit all right so in a scenario uh, use vape bottles, for example. Alright, so, you have this guy right here. Clinton supporter. Okay, that is a really good analogy. Alright, so Clinton supporter. And then you have Trump supporter. Well, the Clinton supporter makes fun of the Trump supporter's family and calls them incest because this guy right here is voting for Trump. And I think it's pretty fucking sad when you gotta take personal, um, personal insults to a whole new level and talking about somebody's family. All because they're voting on a different person as you. I think it's so fucking stupid that people would actually buy into this propaganda bullshit and uh, believe everything they hear from, like, uh, say, Hillary Clinton's side. She talks shit about Trump. Trump talks shit about her. And uh, people believe this. And people buy into it. That's how politics works. It has nothing to do with votes. It has nothing to do with what you say. Like, you as an American citizen, and it has nothing to do with that. It's how many people buy into this bullshit. And I did make a very good point to one of my other buddies, and I told him, I said, well, <clears throat> your vote doesn't matter because all it boils down to is who can make the better speech. And that's what the uh, government's looking for, is someone who can uh, do the talk, or talk the talk, but can't walk the walk for the most part. That way it'll fall back on them, and then... Everybody else is to blame because they vote. They says they voted in the wrong person. Now, let's talk about Trump for a second here and talk about some of his uh, personality traits. Starting off with, he is a misogynist. If you don't know what that word is, you can look it up. I'm not going to explain it to you. Secondly, he is a racist. Um, he has proved this throughout a lot of his speeches. Uh, he is somewhat sexist. Um, for the most part, he degrades women a lot, uh, pretty much breaks them down, tears them apart, 
Uh, just like that, I think it was a Miss Universe. He was sitting there talking shit about her and about her past. Well, Mr. Trump, do we need to bring up your wife's past? Because if I remember correctly, she was a uh, stripper porn star or something like that. And uh, if you don't believe me, well, you can look up Donald Trump's wife and uh, you'll find nude pictures. So... Now, what am I bitching for? I'm not into uh, uh, political debates and political discussion. Well, I'm not actually bitching. I'm just sitting here talking. Talking to a fucking video camera because I have nothing better to do with my life. But, um, Donald Trump is an egotistical maniac uh, who has no morals. And, um, one thing I've noticed a lot since, like, I got on Facebook today. And seeing all these comments, everybody's saying that Hillary Clinton wants war. Well, guess what? If I recall correctly, Donald Trump said he loved war. And uh, I do bring up this point a lot. I say, well, if we get Donald Trump, we're going to be in a war with ISIS. If we get Hillary Clinton, we're going to be in a war with Russia. So, um, you can hate me, you can love me, and you can tell me to fuck off. I really don't care. I am speaking the fucking truth here. And a lot of people don't understand that. They think that, uh... Oh, because I'm talking shit about Donald Trump, I'm obviously a Clinton supporter. When that's simply not the case. I don't want a woman in office, to be honest. Because I don't think she would actually know what to do. I mean, yeah, she has Bill Clinton there, but... Uh, as we've seen... Bill Clinton didn't even do any voting. He didn't even vote for his wife. He literally voted for none of the above. Can you believe that? I sure can. Because Bill Clinton, he already remembered his uh, backlash when he was president. Monica Lewinsky. So, yeah. I just don't think it'll be before long before Clinton supporters and Trump supporters start tearing each other's limbs off and mulling each other's faces. But, um... <clears throat> if you're going to be... In a political debate, be prepared to get called an inbred or an incest or a baby killer supporter or a killer supporter because the insults are endless. Uh, it's quite sad. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Minted Caliber signing out.